Hello guys, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hi, good evening. Judy, good evening. Adolfo, hello. Gabi, Arnoldo, can you hear me guys? Good evening, yes, teacher. Good evening, how are you? How you doing? I'm uh, really good and a little tired. I have a really uh, rough or tough week. Uh, wow. Oh, because of university. Yes, a lot of uh, uh, almost uh, quizzes and exams almost every day. Oh, uh, but I, I thought you were studying at US. I don't know why. Um, because uh, the the um the schedule that we have now. Is like very complicated because we are like uh, div divided into groups, but in but for my group we have like a lot all the activities in the same the same week, but for the other group it's like easier because they have the activities one week yes and the other no, <laughs> so uh, so we are like uh, like we um, para nosotros es peor. Oh, but but do you study at US or where do you study? Yeah. No, yes, at the at US. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I mean, um, I, I know US is pretty hard, you know, all the time, but uh -huh, I was like, wait. <laughs> okay, I thought you had, I don't know, like a, a cooler schedule or something. Um, so that means that you don't have a rest, right? You're having activities no. every single week. Yes, uh, mm. well, uh, like the clinic that we are having now is like very with a lot of very, very heavy. So we have activities every day, but uh, I finish it on one week, one month, I think. And after that, I will be at the university just once or twice at at, at, the, at, at presential, not doing oh. homework anymore, just oh. like a more relaxed. Oh, I see. So one one month pretty much, and that will be yes. it. Uh, so right now you're not at home. So I I don't no. know. I think you're writing a call. No, but I'm like a passenger now. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, but the good thing is that uh -huh, hopefully you're going to finish uh, classes, you know, pretty quick by September, October, and then you will be out. So that is yeah, good news. Yeah, before uh, September before October because I think the university is going to be closed the the rest of the year and probably next year too. Are you kidding? No, uh, because the Los Juegos Olímpicos, they are going to like uh, make oh. a lot of uh, restaurations and the, at the university, oh. so the university oh. will be closed uh, before October. No. That's why we are like with a lot of homework. So you're rushing. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, yeah. okay, that's good to know, but not good for the students, I think, because you don't learn. No, not mm -hmm. at all. The pressure is too much on you. Okay, okay, I see. Well, it is super cool to listen to you. I have missed you. <laughs> I missed listening to you. Hey, guys, how you doing? Christian, good evening. Carlos, hello, great to see you. Hello, Adolfo, hello. Helen, how are you guys? How was your weekend? Did you have a nice weekend? Guys, no se mojaron el día de ahora, so didn't you get wet today? Was it raining in your houses? Is it raining in your houses yet? Are you good? Are you fine? What did you do? Chris and Kay, so what did you do on the weekend? Did you stay at home? Did you go out? What did you do? Sorry, I stay home all weekend. Teacher. Why? I I and I'm asking for explanation, you know. <laughs> mm, no, I just I just <laughs> want to know the gossip. Christian, se, no sé si es mi internet. Um, Am I breaking for you? Es que se me está congelando su cámara. Si no, eh, apague la camarita un momento. So turn off your camera just a moment, Christian. And uh, esperamos que el internet, you know, 
gets a little better, more uh, stable, and then, uh, yes. In, in this week, my internet is not working well. Oh, but, 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 now, but now it sounds better. So, se le escucha mucho mejor. You sound definitely I... better. Okay. Yeah, so intentamos okay, mantenerla, thanks. yeah, eh, un, por momentos apagada, right, while the internet stables a little bit, o se nos empieza a escuchar como quebrado, eh, turn off your camera, and internet gets better. Eh, creo que está en la computadora. Um, También funciona el teléfono, eh, and creería que la señal en el teléfono es un poco más estable. So if your computer, um, you know, the connection in your computer is like breaking now and then. Podríamos intentar también con el teléfono. We can give it a try. So you um, know okay. how it works. Y es exactamente lo mismo, right? So you just download the application and <laughs> that, that, that will work. Um, I see Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Good evening. Great to see you. How you doing? Hi. Mm. Right now, I am eating a dessert. Oh, enjoy it. I know, Miss. <laughs> Why <laughs> do you tell us you're eating dessert? No, just kidding. Enjoy it, Miss. Uh, no, because it's super delicious. Desserts are yeah. always delicious. Enjoy it. So I hope uh, the flavor is amazing. And I hope you have dinner already. Uh, guys, it's super nice to see you back. Uh, iniciamos kind of with starting uh, nuestra semana uh, número cuatro, right? This is going to be week number four. Um, so time is like flying here. Um, but I'm, I'm super glad, guys, we can, um, you know, move on with this. Um, today we are finishing unit number two. Vamos a practicar un poquito eh, parte de los tenses. We have been checking like simple tests, a little bit of eh, present perfect mixed with this. Um, tenemos un poquito de enough and two. Eh, Adolfo, disculpe, me leí sus mensajes, pero creí que le había contestado. I just checked some minutes ago that, um, que dejé ahí guardado el mensaje that I was going to send, but I didn't send it. Ok, no eh, problem. Pero sí, exactamente. Esos son los ejercicios que vamos a estar completando en la plataforma. No sé si los pudo completar a DN o si le seguía dando el error eh, con los ejercicios. Si no, al finalizar la clase, eh, nos comparte en pantalla, right? Podemos revisarlos eh, por si alguien más tiene el mismo problema. Um, normally, eh, la plataforma es bastante cerrada. En el sentido okay. que si nos falta un I have some trouble with platform, coma, but... Ajá, o un espacio está de más, por ejemplo, sí. yeah. no lo va a dejar seguir o le va a dar error. Bien, sucede sí. mucho con los apóstrofes. Cuando hay contracciones, eh, guys, if you remember, normalmente cuando tenemos como contracciones, Um, funciona mismo. Uh, gracias, Helen. Thank you so much. Yeah. Espero que llegue con bien. So, uh, with contractions, guys, uh, remember que hacemos como el, el workaround, que en vez de escribirlo, en vez de typearlo, lo copiamos y lo pegamos y ya funciona. Because uh, uh, la plataforma es un poquito cerrada, un poquito tricky, but well, it can work. Um, hi, Daniel. Good evening. Great to see you. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. Angelica, hello. How you doing, guys? Great to see you. Guys, siento que es martes. I don't know, but I'm feeling that it's kind of Tuesday. So I'm thinking like, uh, siento que los acabo de ver, you know. I just uh, feel like I saw mm -hmm. you yesterday. Um, well, guys, uh, to get started today, I have some questions um, to discuss. Right, and then we review uh, a little bit of enough and two. So um, part of the questions are related to experiences. So we have some of these questions like, have you ever paid too much for something? Have you ever hurt yourself in the kitchen? Have you ever sung in front of people? Like in all your life, right? Have you ever spent a night in, the, in a forest or 
I don't know, probably not in the forest, but camping, or have you ever gone camping, right? Uh, have you ever torn your clothing? Guys, do you know the meaning of a uh, torn? Do you know what torn is? Have you ever mm, torn your clothing? No. No. no? Anybody? No. no? Uh, okay. Teacher. Yeah. What mean torn? Okay. Like when you're walking, right? Or if you are in the motorcycle or in the bicycle and suddenly your clothes is like, <laughs> ah, and there okay. is a big hole like in the, in the, okay, in the see. fabric, right? In your clothes, especially jeans uh, or, or in this part of the, of your blouses, like in the armpit, um, in your legs. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so that is touring guys. So have you okay. ever torn your clothing? Alguna vez se les ha rasgado um, or se les ha creado como un agujero, right? So have you ever torn your clothing? I guess all of us have this kind of experiences, right? Um, not at home necessarily. Guys, ¿les ha pasado en el trabajo? Has it happened to you at work or in the... I don't know, in school, in the street. So, I mean, it's like, like a lot, right? Um, then we have, have you ever written to someone overseas? Eh, en las clases anteriores veíamos esta palabra overseas, like foreign, overseas, abroad. So have you ever written to someone overseas? Probably your family is in another country or is in a foreign land. So have you ever written them? Have you ever texted them? Um, have you ever seen something that is scared you or do you feel you are kind of a scaredy person or do you feel scared easily and have you ever spilled a drink on someone else uh, guys what is a spilt what was this word? Do you remember spill? <laughs> that is correct. Exactly. So like when you're, uh, I don't know, drinking something probably, right? And, uh, yeah, so like when we are drinking something and just by like accident, uh, the, the soda, water, coffee, etc. is on someone else. Oh, this is weird. Okay. So we are going to discuss these guys because we want to know your experiences. We want to know what happened. Um, especially there are a couple of them that I think are kind of funny and embarrassing. No, they are funny. <laughs> but at the very moment, I, I am sure that they were like super embarrassing. Um, like this one, for example, like singing in front of people, unless you like singing or a, a tear in your clothes, right? Or um, spilling a drink on somebody. Hi, Imelda, good evening, great to see you. Creo que entró alguien más, no. Okay, so we are going to discuss these questions, guys. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can share your ideas, right? And then we can share with the rest of the people. No es necesario que las escojan todas. It is not necessary to select all of them. You can just choose like two or three, the ones that you consider are the most interesting, right? And then uh, you tell us what you think. So you tell us your, your ideas. Guys, give your opinion. Remember, vamos a intentar crear vocabulario. So if you don't know how to say something, escribanlo por ahí, write it down, check your dictionary. And of course, um, we can share the new vocabulary with the rest of us. Hi, Iris. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Great to have you. Eh, creería que solamente Helen va en camino. Kenya is eh, finishing something. And guys, let me know si alguien más no está disponible at the moment. Um, creo 
kernel is up right. Okay, guys. So these are the questions. I'll give you five minutes. Escojan algunas de ellas. Select a couple of them and give opinions. All right. Give your ideas. Share your experiences, guys. Comparten lo que les ha pasado. So five minutes. Please go to the groups. Go to the groups. It is only a speaking, guys. So just speak, speak, speak. Uh, Delmi Delmi. Hi, Rafa. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal, guys? ¿Cómo les va? How are you doing? Yeah. 
Bien, everything going? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Disfrutaron su fin de semana, guys. Yes, teacher. Nice, nice, Bye. nice. Um, guys, estamos practicando ahorita. We are practicing sharing opinions de las preguntas que ven acá. Uh, like experiences, cosas que les haya pasado, right? Um, les, voy a, les voy a compartir, uh, let me see, I'm going to invite you to go to the rooms uh, para que puedan, claro, expresar sus ideas también, para que escuchen a los compañeros y les cuenten qué es lo que les ha pasado and then we come back. So, you. Uh, you. you can select any question you like. You're welcome. So, great to have you guys. Me alegra mucho que estén acá. I'm glad to see you here. Let's go.
Hello, hello. Hi, Margarita. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Margarita. How are you? Great to have you. ¿Qué tal, Miss? ¿Ya está en su casa? Yes, teacher. Yes, nice. So, uh, Noemi, good, good evening. Good evening, good evening. So good great evening, Miss. ¿Qué tal, girls? ¿No está lloviendo en sus casas? Girls, ¿a ustedes no les afecta lo de los chorros? No pasan por ahí. Margarita no pasa por esa calle. No, tiche. Ah, ok. No, no a mí no eso tampoco. Ahí. Tenía la idea que no a mí era de Santa Ana, ¿tú? Eh, sí, soy de Santa Ana, pero, pero vivo acá por el redondel más Ferrer. ¿Es San Salvador? Sí. No, es en serio. Sí. No, hombre, Margarita, yo estaba engañada durante los módulos. No, no, es mi. Hello, no es mi. Margarita, yo la estoy yendo. No don't se preocupe, listen. Miss. Yo creo que el ah. Inter está un poco malo eh, para la mayoría, así que no worries. Yo creo que porque se me mojó el teléfono. Miss, no. Sí. Sí, porque oh, sí me bañé el... ahora. Y le cayó, to... le cayó toda la lluvia. Bueno, un ratito, porque aquí un ratito llovió, pero sí fue chaparrón justo para sí. venir para la casa. Es a Salvador, right? Sí. Voy sí. a tratar de conectarme de la compu. Oh. Dale, no se preocupe, acaba de abrir el teléfono, póngale el ventilador, la secadora, algo, you sí. know. Ajá. Sí, o en arroz. Si me no. escucho. El arroz no funciona. <risa> este, voy a tratar porque Vaya. es que no, no encuentro mi laptop. No están ni, ni, es que no están los niños en la, aquí está. Okay. Entonces, ellos la usan. Ah, okay, aquí está. Okay. Voy a tratar de conectarme. Vaya, perfecto. Si sí, no se preocupe, no worries. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you.
Alrighty, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back. That was a really nice talk, I guess. We learned a lot from your experiences. Oh, guys, ¿qué es lo más interesante que escucharon from your classmates? What's the most interesting thing you heard? Um, let's talk about this one that says, have you ever sung in front of people? Guys, ¿alguien ha cantado? Probably not in a karaoke, but in, I don't know, like in a choir or something. Noemi song uh, sing in a church. What? Noemi, tell us about it. Are you yes. part of the choir? <laughs> now I grow in a in a in gospel family, and they oh. they teach. Uh, they uh, le I learn to sing a little with my brother. My brother are musician. Wow, super yes. nice. What do they play? What instruments uh, do they play? Uh, the 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 three brothers uh, can play guitar, piano, bajo. I don't know how do you say bajo and the batería. Oh, the drums, the yeah, bass uh, and the drums. Oh, and so you sang. Yes, yes, oh. I sang. Wow, nice. Yeah. And now, do you still sing? Yes, because I I am. In the chorus, in the gospel. Eh, yes, the le podemos llamar choir. Eh, está acá en el chat, pero se pronuncia un poquito diferente. Se le llamamos cu, cu choir. 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 Cu choir. Something like choir. this. Choir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Choir. Me falta una choir. Yes, <laughs> it's kind of the choir. Uh -huh. oh. uh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Do you feel scared or do you, I don't know, do you feel nervous? When when we sound in front of a lot of people, yes. Okay. But in, in the in the shorts when I go, mm, not much. A little, a little. But when we go to another church, yes. Wow, what a beautiful experience, you know. So really it sounds is. amazing. Okay, so guys, besides Noemi, alguien más ha cantado, have you sung? Daniel decía en el karaoke, yes, but, but not karaoke, but just like in front of people. Nobody? Yes, in my case, in the church. Oh, in the church too. Yes. Uh, are you in the choir too, or do you sing with no. other churches? No, because it's in Evangelica. Mm -hmm. In a Christian. Yes, in a Christian, and you pass along. Ah, okay. Okay. So, so it's like okay. a photo because you pass, you have to pass along in front of the people oh, but I was very young oh yes. so not recently no not recently oh, okay no but that is i guess a really nice experience uh because it's your abilities but you know my voice is horrible so uh, siempre admirado a las personas que pueden cantar. I'm like, wow, I wanted to be a singer, you know. <laughs> so it sounds super case, cool. Yeah, Rafa? In my case, the unique place and the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a shower or cleaning okay. in the house. <laughs> but, but not front of people. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> In front of the dog, in front of your mom, <laughs> but not in front of people. You're right. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, we were also discussing this one that says, have you ever torn your clothing? Uh, so torn is como el pasado participio, but the present is turn. So have you ever torn? Well, no, yeah, have you ever torn, right? Or I tear, or el pasado que es torn. 
So guys, have you ever torn your clothes? Uh, I was telling these guys that uh, back in school, um, not not exactly torn, pero algo que sí se me dañaba, something that got damaged a lot, era el hem. Hem le llamamos como a los ruedos, Hello. right? The last part of your skirt, pants, jeans, etc. So it was super common that like when we say in Spanish, se me iba el ruedo. So my hem got uh, broken, right? Or got um, damaged. Yeah, so uh, because I didn't have a string. So a string and needle, no, no andábamos agujas, we didn't have needles. We didn't have a string. So I normally use a stapler, right? And I just staple it, y era un hack. <laughs> that was a life hack. <laughs> So guys, um, what about you? What was, do you have any experience uh, tearing your clothes? Nunca se les fue, guys, una chancla. <laughs> or, I don't know, your pants, your jeans. Creo que es bien común. O si andan en motocicleta, uh, in if you're riding a motorcycle. I... Christian. Yes, the Christian. Tell us, tell us. In my work, I tore my trousers. Oh, okay. What did you do? Uh, I I uh, covered with my my shirt. Okay. And that was it. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was it. ¿Y, ¿Y le logró cubrir? Were you able to cover with your shirt? I think yes, but <laughs> I don't know really. <laughs> okay. Probably was just like a, like a small tear, right? Probablemente si fue algo pequeño, it could, it could have been. But I guess it's super common. I mean, a todos nos ha pasado, right? Yeah. Okay. But I'm glad. <laughs> Too. Carlos, what happened to you? Yeah, many times. Well, uh, I was uh, pretty young. I okay. almost 13 years ago. And okay. I've been working with my father motorcycle. Okay. And they grow up in the motorcycle, rock. My pants totally open in the back. Uh, what? Well, totally <laughs> like torn completely. Yeah, ah, en oh, wow. motor, le, eh, era de la empresa. Trabajaba, belong trabajaba. to the company. Yeah, belong to the company. He works in guys. And he has to go to leave the motorcycle. Then we got to go in the bus eh, to our house. But he says, eh, we are closer to your grandma. Go okay. in the bus from here. And she has a machine uh, to stress This... you. Ah, and, okay. Pero me mandó en bus. So she was going to <laughs> mend. <laughs> Ella iba como a, um, a arreglarlo, right? She was going to mend your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> pero, pero sí se fue en bus. Did you go by sí, bus? Sí, pues, eh, algo abochornado ahí. Pues ahí me senté. Y me bajé así viendo que nadie viniera detrás. Pero eso es parte del show, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, llegué donde mi abuelita y ella me lo cosió ahí. Oh, pero eso fue súper cool. Eso fue. Me ha pasado muchas veces. ¿eh? No le pasa como, bueno, en like, mi caso, mi trabajo es about to walk many, many blocks a day. Then something's get is going to happen more than once. Yes, exactly, and and yeah. I guess it is just part of you know being out of your house. Obviously, if you walk a lot, and I I have heard that people, especially who are in bicycles, motorcycles, it is super yeah. common. You know that something like that may happen. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uno se acurruca, ¿cómo se dice? I'm sorry. Cuando uno se acurruca. 
Ah, when you, um, wait, no es kneel down, eso es arrodillarse. Uh, we can just bend down. When okay. you bend down, I'm going to write it here. When you bend down. Bend down, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. es como agacharse too. Mm -hmm. In this year, I, they okay. I earn almost two or three. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you just hear the crack and that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I get that. Okay. Okay, guys. Interesting. And thank you so much for giving your opinion on that. Now, vamos a revisar un poquito these verbs. Uh, if you remember, eh, gramaticalmente, esto le llamamos presente perfecto y es para, ex para eh, experiencias, right? So, estamos usando los pasados participios here. Like paid, hurt, sung, spent, torn, written, seen, and spilled. But because this is present perfect. Now, guys, tengo un pequeño ejercicio here, que es la combinación de tres tiempos gramaticales. Past, present, and future. So, um, we are not going to go over qué es presente, qué es pasado, qué es futuro. Solamente a little bit here. Remember that for past, el verbo debe de cambiarse obligatoriamente en we just didn't for negative. Present, revisemos si es tercera persona or it is a normal verb and we use don't or doesn't. Future, ¿qué usamos para futuros, guys? Si quiero hablar de mañana, if I want to talk about next week, ¿qué voy a usar? We are going to... Perfect. Yes, yeah, so we are going to me da la idea que es futura. Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que intentemos completarlo usando the three tenses. Past, present, future. Eh, no es necesario que lo escriban, pero si se sienten más cómodos haciéndolo, it's okay. No problem. Eh, vamos a hacerlo individualmente, right? Para que you can work on your own. Um, so you can try to remember a little bit eh, los cambios con presente o con pasado. And guys, si se llegan a quedar estancados or stuck o no se recuerdan, let me know y lo revisamos. So, cinco minutos, guys. You got five minutes. Yes, Daniel, we are going to complete the sentences. Yes, teacher, thank you.
Um, yes, guys, we are going to work on uh, all of them, Adolfo. So from one up to number 10. But the thing is that it's past, present, and future. So we have to identify first eh, cuál es la forma correcta de expresar las ideas, what's the best way to express them. Um, for example, uh, in number one, it says, I usually write a letter to my classmate on Friday. So, ¿cuál sería la forma más adecuada de decirlo? Eh, en presente, en pasado, o en futuro, right? So, I usually write, I usually wrote, or I usually will, or I'm going to write. So, you have to decide what is Thank the best way to express the ideas. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the welcome. The screen was covered with my with my dialogue. Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. You're good. No problem. Okay. That's totally fine. I usually write. Yeah. You have your notes, I guess. It's okay. It's fine. No problem. Five more minutes, guys.
I guess someone is having problems with the internet. Uh, guys, terminaron. Did you finish? Necesito más tiempo. Do you need more time? I finished, but I don't know if I go. I'm I, no seguro si están buenas. <laughs> no se preocupe, ya lo revisamos en un momento. I finished. Eh, okay, thank you. But Alguien más, guys? But we can discuss in between the classmates, right? Eh, yes, of course, we'll do that because we have to make sure we got it. Okay. Um, anybody else? Guys, los demás necesitan más tiempo. Do you need more time? Oh, okay. Okay. okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm not sure. No worries. Ahorita lo revisamos. So we're going to check that. Okay, guys, so revisamos what you got. Let's take a look here. Okay, so the first one, um, remember que hay un par de expresiones que podemos siempre usar como guía para saber si estamos hablando like in present, in past, or in future. Uh, for example, si les digo yesterday, oh, ya sé que me refiero a pasado, right? If I tell you last month, if I tell you the day before, if I tell you last Tuesday, oh, es porque me estoy refiriendo a un tiempo que ya pasó. But if I tell you something like, oh, oh um, next Monday, next month, next year, so next me ayuda para hablar un poco al futuro, right? So I'm yeah. talking about future activities. And bien interesante que cuando utilizamos los días de la semana, eh, in pluralis, like for example, if I say on Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Saturdays, me está diciendo que es una rutina. So for routines, we normally use present simple here. No hemos mezclado perfectos hasta que ya estamos ready with this. So number one, guys, it says, I usually write a letter to my classmate on Fridays. Um, tenemos usually, tenemos Friday, ambos pertenecen a simple present. So the answer is solamente write. Y eso es todo. So I usually write. ¿Lo tienen así? Do you have it like this? Yes. yes. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I usually One write. Number two. ¿Qué tienen en la número dos, guys? Mr. John. Was Rafa, ayúdeme con la dos. Oh, Carlos. Was driving his car very fast yesterday. Ay, very good. I like it. So, yes. Esta es una muy buena posibilidad. So, Mr. John was driving his car or Mr. John drove his car. Ambas están súper bien. Oh, Me gustó bro. mucho eso. So, Mr. John was driving his car very fast yesterday or Mr. John drove his car. So, ambos están súper bien, right? Both are good. And uh, solamente que pasado sí significa que vamos a cambiar el verbo. So, was driving, this is good. Or we can say drop. Very good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, no, number three. Uh, Angelica, do you have number three? Sara uh, and I? Um, I guess uh, she's in. Yes. And I enjoyed it our tour in the mall last month. Perfect. There you go. I so Sarah and I enjoyed, yes, that is good, our tour in the mall last month, exactly. Enjoyed. So we are going to use um, enjoyed, perfect, there you go. Um, what about number four? Uh, what do you have in number four? Uh, Margarita, ¿está por acá? Hello, teacher. Hello. Help us with number four, please, Margarita. Is I I pick pickups mm -hmm. 
Um, Vamos a agregarle a Pick it up Pick it up Clarin from the Station last week Thank you so much Yes, that is actually fine I pick uh, it up So usamos el pasado de pick, right? And uh, y eso es todo Pretty much that's it Um Si sí podemos usar, usar perfect, I mean, continuas como I was picking up, y estaría bien, or I picked up, so that is okay as well. Eh, number five, thank you, Margarita, nice. Um, Chris, ¿entiende la número cinco? Do you have number five? Yes. Thank you. Can you help us? Amanda, my sister, is a good cook. Can you smell the cake? Very good, exactly. Um, ¿Por qué no digo was a good cook? Porque me hace referencia ahorita, right? Puedes olerlo, que so can you smell it? So yes, very nice. So she is a good cook. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, she is a good cook. Number six, Mr. Jack, Nicole, and I. Oh my God, I got allergies, I'm sorry. Uh, so, what do you have in number six, guys? Tell me, uh, do you have number six? Iris? Anybody? Daniel? Uh, I? Yes, please. Mr. Tell us. Yeah, Nicole and I were watching the football oh. match last, last night. Very good, exactly. So, we were watching. Oh, pregunta. Mr. Jack, Nicole and I was? Or Mr. Jack Nicole and I were. Where? Yes, nice. Where? Nice. Where? We were yes. watching. Exactly. Good, good, good. Next one, guys. Number seven. Last month, Linda. Last month, Linda. Decided. Decided. Yes. Decided. decided. Excellent. Recordemos que es pasado. Entonces, decided. Decided. Las más linda decided. Number eight. Uh, este es Antonio. <laughs> so number eight. Antonio. Visited. Visited. Excellent. Visited. Number nine. Uh, visited sería en pasado, right? So visited. Number nine. Sarah, Claire, and I. We are going. Are going. going. Exactly, are going to the seaside are right going. now. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, Claire, and I, otra vez. I'm going or are going? Are going. Are going. Exacto, a pesar que acá está I, son, somos las tres personas. So, Sarah, Claire, Claire, and I are going. And the last one, guys, George. Eating. Going to eat. Okay. Was eating. Oh, George Eight. was eating. When, when Sam, Sam and Nadine, and Nadine came, in. came in. Very good, very good. So George was eating. Mm. Él estaba comiendo. Exactly, good. So George was mm. eating when Sam and Nadine came in. Si sí podemos usar mm. George mm. ate, pero la idea cambia bien. Que muy, muy, mm. es muy diferente. Cambia bastante. So yeah. this is a very good um, attempt here. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, guys, excellent job. Eh, give me just a moment. Tenemos un ejercicio antes de terminar la unidad número dos, before finishing that part. Eh, guys, recuérdenme de revisar algunos ejercicios eh, con los que he estado teniendo problemas, please, by the end of the session. Um, un segundo, because this is getting crazy here. Hold on. Let me just try to share it. Okay. Okay, guys. Solo completamos un par de ejercicios here de los que tenemos pendientes eh, from the material. Uh, so, take a look at eh, page number 23, please. Si vamos a la 23, if you go to page no, to number 23 in your material, vamos a encontrar un poquito de vocabulario que todavía tenemos pendiente, right? Um, that is actually this one. So let me make it a little bit bigger. So tenemos un par de expresiones como advertising, 
personal sales, eh, sales promotion, sponsor, and public eh, relationships or relations. So guys, completamos el ejercicio. Okay, so let's work on it. Vamos a hacerlo juntos. Um, so we can get the meaning of those words. Eh, we already discussed advertising, right? Que tiene mucho que ver con marketing. Eh, sales. We have sales promotion. Eh, we have a sponsor. Guys, first, ¿qué es un sponsor? What comes to your mind? Eh, patrocinador. Very eh. good. Yes, like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, right? So Diana, all of them are sponsors. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, for ex who sponsors or who gives endorsement to the uh, to to this guy from Barcelona? Um, to Messi, that's uh, it, right? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, in qué comercial aparece? So, which uh, uh, advertising does it appear? Nike. I remember that was Nike. Pepsi, Nike, N N Nike, Nike Pepsi, Pepsi, Dorito, right? yeah. Pepsi, eh, Dori no. Doritos, no, 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 no Doritos, no, Lays. What about um I this other guy, Cristiano? Because I remember that le ofrecieron Coca-Cola y la movió. So <laughs> no Coca-Cola, <laughs> right? They uh -huh. say he say drink water. <laughs> uh -huh, drink water, that's right. Yeah. So um so can lo patrocina? Who sponsors him? Siemens, LG. LG, Siemens? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite familiar. And not even from Salvadorian. Solo recuerdo el Alianza y Maseca. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't remember ah, any you other. Are, you are Aliancista. <laughs> I'm not Aliancista, but the thing is that, uh, no, I am, I, I used to um, support Aguila. So I really liked Aguila really? like 10 years okay. ago. Are you, um, are, are you fan for, for Aguila? No, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Salvadorian or in general. I don't like soccer much. Uh, uh, are, you, I, I are you from San Miguel? No, you I'm not. Born in San Miguel. <laughs> no, but you know, um, I liked Aguila a lot. When the goalkeeper was mm. Juan Jose Gomez. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Eh, okay. Creo que era por él. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but that nice. was a long time ago, guys. And I am then... fan of I am fan of Tigers. Tigers. Fast. Ah, that's a uh -huh. that's I am a fan of the case. What is the case? The oldest team. The yeah, the oldest team in the in the Salvadorian history of football. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, yeah it's really? a team from from Santa Tecla, I think so. El the, the case yeah, the was, case was, was founded in one one thousand eight hundred ninety six. Oh my so -so. goodness! Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but but the case is a kind of plant. Mm -hmm. Really I know the take, but I've never no, heard. Que que. It's a kind of leaf uh, when you you can use to to cook some something, uh, wrap it into the into the the fire. Ah, like pork. Yeah, of course. Ah, very similar to hoja de huerta. Yes. <laughs> to the banana leaf. Oh, the banana okay. leaves. Yeah. Okay. Nice, I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you for the info. Okay, yeah, so, um, okay. Thank you guys. I didn't know. I didn't even know that there was a team called Ketkeishke. When, 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 when all people ask me to the, what, what is your favorite, uh, Soccer yes. team. Favorite soccer team? I say, I say, I say, I saw that. <laughs> okay. in, in the most of people say me, what? Yeah. <laughs> because it's not that common. But yes, it is interesting to know the history. It's, it's, this, team, this team is not in first, first leap. Uh -huh. It is not in the first. It's in second, it's in 
I think in second or tertiary league, I don't know. Somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> second or, or third division, I don't know. Probably second or third division. Yeah. Well, but it, it should be somewhere, definitely. But it is really good to know. So, guys, let's take a look at these words. Um, if we have to match the meaning with the words, what is advertisement? Where should you place advertisement? Is it a promotion designed to create a short-term increases in sales? Um, so how would you how would you put it? How would you describe it? A form of marketing that employs and openly sponsor and messages to promote or sell of product. Mm, okay, a form of marketing. Okay, I'm gonna leave that it there. Employs an openly sponsor message to promote or sell a product. Uh, yes, number one. What about number two? Uh, personal sales. So where can we put like personal sales? Uh, well, I think Number two is where you put number one, a form of marketing that employees and openly sponsor message. Mm, okay, so um, this for you should be number two, yes. a personal sales. Oh, okay, interesting. And uh, so- For me is the third position. Oh, interesting. We got different Those here. Two. Okay. Okay, what about the rest? Remember that here we have advertising that is super general. We have personal sales and For sales me, promotion. advertising is, is number one. Uh, yeah, and, and from this one, from the description that we have right here. Yes, number one, the, the, the first position, promotion. Oh, this one. Where, yeah, for me, okay. that is number one. Okay, I'm going to place it here, guys. This is a trial and error, no problem. So we can get to um, get familiar with these words. What about the rest? Um. Number one promotion design to create a short time, short term in increase in sales promotion. Okay, because sorry, because, give me just because... a second. Uh, I need to sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, second personal sales. Um, the sales promotion is for short time. I think. Uh, for me is um, um yeah, more. here. Yeah. For me is a, a form of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote or sell up a product. Number for me, number two is correct in the second, in the fourth one. For me, the second personal say goes to the sorry guys, third position. I'm back. I'm sorry, I think I got allergies. Okay. Um, so you were telling me. Um mm, okay, hagamos lo más fácil. Let's make it easier, guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh personal. <laughs> ¿Qué comprendemos por, let's go with the, empecemos a discriminar, let's start discriminating, otherwise yeah. we will get confused here. Um, so, advertising is bastante general, but let me erase it over and let's start with the ones we know, and then okay. we go for the ones that you think are the most difficult. So, ¿cuál de estas es la más fácil for you to get? Sponsor. 
public okay. rel sponsor, yeah. What is a sponsor? Goes a, to fight position. The, the last mm. one. A person a or person, organization. A that person organization. Facts. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. This is real. Mm -hmm. So that is okay. For me, hotels. Public. A public. Oh, okay. Number four picture. And public four. relation. Public relation. What is public relation? Um, number two. Building a positive relationship. Between yeah. Yeah. Organization, maybe not public. Mm, Building a positive oh, relationship. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm number, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, I thought mm -hmm. it was four. Yeah, you're this right. Is sorry. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> sorry. This is number that four. That was number yes. four. Yes. The number and two the... is number five. Yes. Number, is number five. Uh -huh. five yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we already got the first them I think out. is a sales, sales promotion. Oh, no, promotions designed to create a short term increase in sales. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Guys, vamos con la número dos porque es, es fácil y luego nos quedamos con las últimas. So, first, ¿qué entienden por personal? What do you understand by personal? A person. A person. A human. Uh, okay. <laughs> A person. Okay. I think it's a sales a one by one. Yes. Yeah, one to one. Yeah. Yes. Personal sales. Good. Yeah. Exactly. Lo que hace Carlos, right? What Carlos does, I think. Mm -hmm. So, sales interaction between the firm's representative and a consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. Okay. What is personal? Ah, que usa con el cliente. Mm. So, one-on-one relationship. One-to-one, yeah. One-on-one to one. That is a personal one. sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, like when you go, you visit your clients and they tell you exactly what they need. So, nos faltan one and we are missing number three. So, uh, promotions designed to create a short term <laughs> in a form of marketing. So which yeah. is which? No, it's a person. It's a person or organization that provides funds for an activity. Uh, which one? A sponsor. Mm, yes, yes, yes. We already got a sponsor. Yes. Um, what about advertising? Advertising. What is advertising? Promotions or a or form of marketing? Form for marketing? A form of marketing. Yes. yes. A form of marketing. So advertising is what we normally do to promote or sell a product. Then that means that a sales promotion Advertise. is something short term. Las promociones or las offers no son para siempre, right? Probably short one time. day to, exactly. So we call them short term activities or uh, short term increase in sales. Uh, for example, imagínese que se le está venciendo algo, una vitamina, una medicina, some food. Obviamente lo va a poner con like a, a big, big impact so you can, you know, get rid of them. So those are the ones. So we have advertising, um, personal sales, sales promotion, a sponsor, and public relations. So um, the last part that we have in here, it says choose. So guys, esto lo vamos a hacer en parejas. We're going to try to do this in pairs. Give me just a sec. And it says here. Uh, choose a renowned national product or service. Obviamente El Salvador, because that's what we are familiar with. Identify its place and promotion strategy components. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a identificar? Pretty much this one, guys. We are going to identify cómo es que se promociona ese artículo. Um, so if it is like a sort of promotion, si algún tipo de sponsor, or what is it? How is it advertised? and where it is advertised. So, uh, la vez anterior hablábamos de lugares salvadoreños, yeah, so, or Salvadoran companies. You already mentioned, um, yo siempre me voy con Don Pollo, but you said that no, no Pollo Campero, they are from Guatemala. <laughs> but we do have a dog, um, we do have Tigo, we have Claro, no, ni siquiera son salvadoreños, but they are in El Salvador. 
Um, so think about all this, all the, not the truly Salvadorian companies, sino todo lo que encuentra en El Salvador, guys. <laughs> Porque creo que solo como una empresa salvadoreña. Se... Almacenes y mam. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, pensamos en todo lo que encuentran okay. acá when you go to Metro Centro, to a shopping mall, to Galia, yeah. right? Yeah, that's easier. Eh, so, solo es una empresa, guys. It's only one company. And try to identify cómo es que se promueve, how that company eh, promotes itself. Um, un momento here. Just a sec. Oh, I got allergies, my God. And tenemos solo cinco minutos, guys. You have only five minutes. Just talk about this company, the advertising strategy, and then we come back and we talk about it. So five minutes, go. Rosario.
Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. I guess the time was not enough to finish um, discussing about any company, but it gives us the idea of um, what is like uh, the most common kind of promotions they develop or the places where you have seen advertising, etc. So um, can you tell us guys, which company you discussed? I... Uh, my group. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go. No okay, problem. Just, just tell us the company, that would be fun. Okay, the, with Judy and Imelda, uh, talk about the Banco de America Central. Ah, okay, back. Nice. Okay, back. So back. Uh, in this case, um, the bank, uh, their advertising is only for social media mm -hmm. and uh, for a um, for, uh, for client is individual. They don't spend a lot of money in commercials on television or radio only social media oh yes and um, yes and uh, uh, about the personal sales they send uh, for for every client an email with promotion specific for every for everyone mm. and sales promotion uh, is uh, according to the to the the last one because are specific for different clients. Uh, for example, my promotion is different that can you that that you receive is another promotion. It depends in, it, I'm sorry, it depending about the the product you you take. Do you have? The Do you have yes. with the bar? Yes. Interesting, I didn't know. So we receive different kind of advertisement or different kind of discounts? Yes, yeah. it's different. It's about the kind of, for example, the credit card or if you receive your pay for, for your accounting. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. It's different that, that which you receive and I just receive. Your payroll. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, sounds really interesting because I thought that it was a little bit generic uh, for no. every single customer, but good. It's different, it's different. It's different. Okay. And about the sponsor, they don't have a sponsor because it's a international company. They have a lot of uh, mm -hmm. agencies in, in different countries in United States, Mexico, uh, uh, America. America. But do you know if I don't they... Know. Do you know if in they Miami. sponsor companies? I mean, yes. Or if they sponsor events? Because normally it's not only companies, but algunas veces ellos um, están a cargo como de, de equipos de fútbol, as we were saying, right? So some soccer yes. teams, probably yes, they sponsor they, schools. They are a sponsor. Um, they have a program that they have is naming social responsibility. And okay. they they um, g um, bring becas for scholarships, scholarships, scholarship, um, and they go to the, for example, to the to the parks, and they paint on the um, arreglan, <laughs> arreglan el they, fix. they fix, they fix, they fix, they yeah. fix the part. Yes. Y libera oh, I tortugas like también. <laughs> What is it? Sí. Ah, tortugas. Toros. Yes. Sí. No, es de la vivienda. Bank. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> es ah, so it is not bank. the same. <laughs> it's really it's another. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, and they sponsor two equipment of softball, softball, mm. football, so, um, different uh -huh. kinds of, of different sports, teams. Sports. Yes, and the last one, the public mm -hmm. relation, relations. Yes, they have um, a specific department of marketing, and they promote uh, only for um, meeting a specific 
in, for example, in hotel or for the media de comunicación. In mass media. Mass media, yes. Okay. Wow, I'm super, I'm super excited to hear this because I'm not that familiar with the banking. Guys, alguien trabaja en banco. <laughs> do you work, work in the bank? You, you do. Me, you work I in work, the bank. I do. I work. Ah, um, not anymore. No, 15 years ago, but uh -huh. I I have connection with, with some people in the uh -huh. bank and I oh. know something. Wow, that is okay. amazing I, I, just I, because I, you know I, a lot about it. So that sounds good. I, 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 I is, need I need yes. a credit card because all my credit card was blocked. Wow. One, one year that, ago. That's tan but why? But <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, be, be, because my last work was a politician only. You were only a politician? For, uh, only for that because I was a mayor and they said me, you cannot access our credit card. Mayor, oh, mayor from, so from what? You were a, a, a mayor of Nehapa? Mayor? Yeah. ¿En qué año Adolfo fue? Adolfo, ya no, no era ni more. Yeah. Three years ago. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. No, hombre, guys. Va para la próxima, guys. Ya sabemos que nos va a conseguir empleo en, en el calidad. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. No, okay. But good, if, good you, if, if you have record, eh, it's not difficult to, to, to find uh, a new credit card. Okay. No, 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 because, because we have to. We have a, a special a special clausula. Ah, for yeah. servidores públicos. Yeah. Okay. And we have we, we cannot use credit card. We have to pay. Yeah. No sabía, mm. I didn't know. Well, but probably now that you are not a major anymore, so you can apply for any of them. So just investigate. Guys, eh, seguimos con el resto del día de mañana. That that was like a very, um, that was something really interesting, guys. Muy buena información. Gracias por compartirla. I guess we didn't like much. We didn't know much about it. So that's really, really cool. Guys, ya tome asistencia here. Eh, solamente creo que Andrea me falta. I didn't see Andrea today. But then I see the rest of you. Carlos? She's not. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't see her. I was like trying to look for her, but I didn't find it. Um, mm -mm. All right. Uh, so thank you guys for your time. No se les olvide, please. Eh, si todavía les falta la unidad número dos, terminarla, porque el día de ahora mañana ya vamos con la unidad número tres. Guys, estaríamos terminando eh, sesión el de este lunes que viene al próximo. So pretty much ya vamos hacia abajo, you know. Adolfo, si me regalo un par de minutitos, please, para verlo de la plataforma. That would be really cool. Los demás, guys, estamos dismissed. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have an amazing night, guys. Descansen. Have a good night. Hey, good night. Bye-bye. See you, see Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Deme un momento here. Hold on, hold on. Eh... Tiene acceso a su plataforma. Do you have access right now? Yes. Now, let me see. Eh, porque si tiene acceso, me puede presentar pantalla y creería que es un poco más fácil. I guess it's okay. Little let me see, please. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. I can't remember section two. I don't know. But I, I try so many times and I, let me see.
I have a problem with my platform. But if you want, I try tomorrow to, to answer. Hello. I'm sorry, uh, I was mute. Okay, uh, what is going on with your platform? What's the problem? It's not a thrill. Let me know, let me see. Um, I don't remember, let me see. Um, no problem, I try. It's about the bad strategy. For example, complete the sentence, the place a strategy, I put. The place a strategy demand enough channel of distribution. Um, okay. In the section on. section two, I think. Okay, section two. Can you present? Um, okay, let me present my screen, and you tell me what it's like. The exercise okay. where you're having difficulties, um, and we can, you know, be on the same track. Otherwise, it's going to be a little hard here. So let's see if it works. Do you remember which exercise it was? Yeah. Let... I can. Yeah, the 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 instruction the instruction was complete the sentence using the information in pa in parentheses and enough. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, for peace, it's okay. But is it like two point five? No, this is okay. So which was the exercise? Um, the exercise was using enough. Pero se recuerda el número? Do you remember the number? I don't remember. I was, uh, I am looking for that. Oh, okay, no problem. So let me take a look here. It says yeah. that enough. Because here in 2.0, uh, 2.8, you have one exercise with enough. Um, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if this is the one that you referred to. Yes, I did. I did it. I don't know. The main. Sure, the okay. only ones that I can see here. No. I can't but, remember. But. Well, estaba en el midterm, por casualidad. Estaba en la evaluación. Yes, I think. But if at any case we can we can try tomorrow and not problem, Julie. Uh, sure. Or if yeah. you have like a screenshot of the exercise, um, so you can send it to me and I can definitely check that for you. No problem. Okay. Um, my apologies again. Sí, pensé que le había respondido, but I guess I didn't. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, si respondo un poquito lento, right? But, pero le voy a responder someday. <laughs> yeah, but no problem. Envíeme las capturas y las cianas. So, send me the pictures if you find okay. it. No, no problem. Okay. Okay. So, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye.